you are in a constant partner dance with the world around you, with your reality, with your own subjective reality. You are in a constant partner dance with a higher power. And at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter what you refer to this higher power as, God, spirit, the most high, the universe, a force of life, okay? The force of intelligence that animates all living things. So the collective consciousness is another term that's used to refer to this God force to refer to this animating force, this intelligent force that flows within us, that animates me, that animates you, that connects us all, okay? The, the collective consciousness is just another word for that. So anytime you hear me refer to the collective consciousness in this video, that is what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the universal database of information that encapsulates us all, all right? I'm connected to it, you're connected to it, everybody that watches this video is connected to it, okay? Animals, plants, everything. So the collective consciousness is just another label that is referencing the idea that everything in our world can be tied back to a unified source. We are all one. There is no such thing as separation. Separation is the illusion here. We are all connected. Every single person you interact with on a daily basis, be it a positive or negative interaction, is a direct reflection of your energetic state of being. So even though there are billions of people on the planet right now, you will likely only physically perceive a handful of those people in your lifetime. Every single person who comes into your field of perception is a reflection of you in some way. If they weren't, then you wouldn't even perceive them. That's the law of reflection. Um, our reality is a mirror. It is simply reflecting back to us what we are putting out. And that includes the people that we come into connection with, that includes the events that transpire in our lives, Everything is a mirror. And this is why we sometimes see friends and loved ones who fall away from our lives when we make significant changes. Okay, when we make significant changes to our lives, sometimes we'll see people fall out of our realities, we'll become disconnected from people, all of that. That means that there's some kind of misalignment which does not allow for this person to materialize in your reality anymore. You could kind of think of it like servers in an online chat room, like IMVU, or Club Penguin, or like Minecraft, or Roblox. You know, all of these different like servers and these different like metaverses where you can kind of go and interact with other people. It's very similar. Life itself is very, very similar to that principle, where the people who you are aligned with exist within the same server of reality as you. You can connect with them, you can interact with them, you can speak to them on a daily basis. People who are in other servers of reality, people who have fallen out of your reality, you will literally not have any kind of contact with them. You will not be able to reach them. Maybe they'll block you or, or whatever, you'll block them. Um, maybe they'll move away, they'll get rid of their social media. Life will make it so that you cannot contact them. Life will make it so this, that this person or this situation is inaccessible if it is outside of your server of reality. And the people that you interact with the most are direct reflections of you. They're the closest reflections of you. Your best friends, your family members, especially your family members. And part of the beauty of the human experience is that we can use these sometimes turbulent relationships um, as a catalyst for our evolution, okay? As within, so without, reality is a mirror. I just wanna put it out there that this law does not absolve anybody who mistreats you, this doesn't take away from the mistreatment that you face from other people, all right? That is still very real, um, and it's still something that you don't have to and shouldn't deal with. Any energy that anyone inflicts upon you must be exchanged back to them. The universe must maintain equilibrium, all right? So karma is very real, guys, and that's one thing I will make a video about. Karma is real, but it's an illusion. It, it doesn't work the way that everybody thinks it does. You can transcend your karma, okay? It is possible to absolve yourself of karma, um, but it just takes awareness. People who are unconscious are a slave to their own karma, okay? They are a slave to the negative patterns that they continue to output in their life. Everything is an extension of you. There is no separation from your reality, all right? If you're not liking the way that people are treating you, it's probably because they are a physical manifestation of the way that you treat yourself. And that's why confidence is so important in the manifestation game, because when you're confident, you are less likely to deal with from other people, okay? When you're confident and you're genuinely embodying self-love, people have to match that. They have to, or they just won't even be able to align with you. They won't even be able to connect with you. 
All right, when you're empowered and you're truly in a place of self-love, you will not experience people who can tear you down. They, they might try. There might be people that try. There might be people that try to come and trigger you. It'll be like you're covered in a protective layer of grease and it's like everything that anybody tries to throw at you just slides right off. That's the power of confidence.